Hello, Prim friends. I am at a shop now in Alliance, Ohio, that I can't remember ever having been to. But I can tell you that this will definitely be a place that I am adding to my regular rotation of places to go. This is Bridgewater Primitives, and I will be sure to add the address on the screen and also in the description below. The interesting thing about this shop is that not only do they have antiques, they also make furniture and accessories. So several of the pieces that you'll see here are ones that they make themselves right here, make and finish. But this is just such a, such an unusual, just completely immersed in this early American primitive cottage farmhouse style that it is just so beautifully staged. You will love it. Now, they do ship smalls. However, let me tell you about a really special event that is happening. So on March 2nd, they are having uh, or are a part of what's called a shop hop. And there are five different shops that will be involved in this event. Um, I think she said they are from 10 o'clock until 4 o'clock. And again, there are five different shops. So I'm hoping to get around to some of the others as well. So you can come and shop prior to that March 2nd date. But they will not ship until after that date. Here is the information. Here's their card. 15255 Gaskill Drive, Alliance, Ohio. And I'll make sure that their phone number is also on the screen for you. So it's just, I wish you could also, again, I've talked about it before. I wish there was smell a vision um, because the candles here are just amazing. They do now also have upholstered furniture. So you'll see as I go around that uh, they do have that as well. These amazing grapevine Christmas trees that as you can see, it doesn't have to be just for Christmas. They're just so charming here with all of these Easter things or spring things, not even necessarily Easter. Lots of early style lighting as well. These beautiful candles. Here's more of the lighting fixtures. They just very clearly have an eye and the feel for this style that we love so much. That is a really lovely desk chair with the drawer below. So do you decorate your home also for the spring season? Do you, do you have things that you change out and add to for Easter? Do you do the egg tree and all those fun things? Look at these are so sweet. They are the little, they're like Christmas lights, but they're just the, the clear. And they have the, or the mini lights, they have the silicone on the bulbs. So they kind of have that extra, here. Here are some actually on display. And instead of having the green wire, they do have the brown. Just everywhere, those aren't really heavy, so I would imagine shipping wouldn't be cost prohibitive on that. Love that. It's almost like a whaler style of light fixture in the back. Beautiful shelf with the peg, peg racks and then this really nice big cabinet not as deep as the early ones used to be you know when you would have your tv in those big entertainment centers 
We converted ours. We have a large tiger maple, uh, David T. Smith Entertainment Center, and we converted it into our coffee bar. So it is now on the back side of our kitchen and all of our coffee, um, coffee mugs, all that is in, in that uh, entertainment center. Love that upholstered piece. And the geraniums look so sweet. I am I am so ready for spring. Are you? Our Ohio weather has just been remarkable this year. We've really been blessed with not having some wicked snows. I think we're supposed to be in the 60s again next uh, next week. That is a really pretty blue cabinet. Single drawer. Love those hinges on it. So let's open this one. Very nice. It's old shelves. Really would be a wonderful, wonderful addition. I just, there are just so many things, so many little vignettes and how they display. Again, like I've said before, you learn so much. You know, sometimes people will say, well, I can't afford to shop. That's, that's true. I, not all of us, not, a, I can't, you know, we all have a budget, but you learn so much from going to these shops and these shows on how to display and so when you find the little pieces, then you kind of learn, oh, well, that's a clever idea to take one upside down and one right side up. Here's another one of the grapevine trees here in the corner. And this lovely angel with the um, architectural piece in the back. Gosh, I, there's so much here that I want to be able to show you. Look on top of the cabinet with the water, the galvanized watering pitchers, the little lantern. Just adorable. All right, let's head this way. So, yes, they do they will ship, but not until after March 2nd, not until after they have their shop hop. Look at how they have this ladder from one side to the other, the grapevines, and then the little twinkle, tiny little twinkle lights in that. Love that. I was actually thinking about that the other day, but you know, that's one of those things when you have a, a brand new home, it's a little hard to say, I want you to poke holes in in the ceiling so is that ever sweet it's a beescape that's a hooked rug or a little hooked mat on a um, grapevine wreath and again another one of these wonderful shelves black shelves with the pegs across the bottom the the nice thing with the black is it just goes with so much, so much decor. It just doesn't clash with anything. Again, another beautiful little vignette. And the bunnies. I really do have a... The bunnies have a special place in my heart. All these nice uh, room sprays and candles. And we'll just take a quick peek here in this room. This is usually much more full, but a lot has just gone out, and so that's going to all be restocked. They do have the silicone uh, covered light bulbs, so if you're looking for those things, those are here as well. And what is this? Oh. That is some of that, what do they call, prairie grass, maybe? Like for in your bowls or in your baskets. Really sweet. 
And that a bag of that might need to come home with me. Like that white painted bucket in the back. So this shop is really quite large. You'll see here as we get into the main room and then there's another room in the back and I think we'll go that direction. Look at that beautiful antique corner cupboard without the doors, but what a wonderful display piece. Love that. And then the bunny here in the corner and the little bird house in the corner. Got the, here's the dry sink. I know in our video at Bill Romy's shop, I did talk about what a dry sink is after somebody had asked that question. So again, here, you know, they would have brought their wash bucket filled with water this was probably lined with zinc at one time. The sink, zinc, there would not have been a drain. They would have washed their dishes in that um, or with a galvanized pail perhaps. And then the water dumped again outside. So it's just such a, such a, um, you know, just part of how their early style was and what they did. And I really like that. Very pretty open cabinet and the bunny and then a lovely black chandelier in the corner. Oh, look at the, the little mice with the shovel. Sweet. The early basket. Pretty. Very pretty. Can I walk back this way and maybe give you a little bit of an idea of the size of the shop here as you walk in that door. We are having just a beautiful day here in Ohio today. Another really nice cabinet, one of the smaller grapevine trees, a little cabin. Oh, they have a fire going in the fireplace today. Love the the pine cones on the as a garland. There another grapevine wreath in the back with a uh, what looks like a log cabin on it. Really cute. And more bunnies. My heart is very partial to the bunnies and the mice. I think maybe because of all the Tasha Tudor stories and the Beatrix Potters. I did collect the Beatrix Potter uh, pieces when I was a child. Still have them today. And there, another big piece of ladder just wrapped with the, with the twinkle lights. So cute what that does just that just that wonderful look it's a beautiful cabinet step back see so don't shy away from cabinets also that don't have all of their doors look at how amazing that looks lovely basket and the gourds and here even up at the top look at that sweet bunny and the basket and I love this large barrel here on the corner. Nice. So I don't know, some of you I know are, are personal friends on Facebook. Um, my youngest son got engaged a few weeks ago. And so well, there's going to be a wedding in our future. So we're really looking forward to that and all the fun and planning and excitement that goes along with it. So we'll, we'll try to bring you along perhaps with, for some of it and some of the things that we find um, for accessories for, um, for all of that. But yes, big shout out to Joe and Jen on their, on their engagement. 
I have two boys and now we'll have a girl. I'm really excited. She's a sweetheart. Another beautiful, beautiful chandelier. Love that. Again, the ladder hanging. The corn dryer here is so, so neat. I just love how they accessorize. Really nice. And we'll come around this way. I'm going to try to see the light from outside. Nope, looks like it's doing okay. That's a lovely cabinet. Here, this is probably a, a um, maybe a butter, butter churn. Oh, look how cute those little pigs are. Here's a nice, large size spice box. And the, the bowl rack, beautiful big basket up there on top. Boy, yeah, this March 2nd Shop Hop, you definitely want to put this on your calendar. Um, definitely worth the trip. There's another nice dry sink. Kind of has a blackish blue tint to it. Early settlers, corn husk brooms proudly handcrafted in the USA. Love that old look sign. And the potpourris, all of our favorite scents, the log cabin, banana nut bread. Look at this. The dried sunflowers. Love it. Just a wonderful garland of primitive drieds. And they just, every corner, you have these wonderful early lighting style pieces that just go perfectly. That's one of those things that I say often in our videos when we're decorating homes in this style, sometimes one of the last things that people think about is the lighting. And actually it's probably one of the first things that is can be jarring to your eye if it is the more contemporary look. So if you are able um, to invest in some of the earlier style lighting, you will see a huge difference in how your home, how your home reads in that country, um, cottage, primitive, farmhouse style. The lighting really can make all the difference in the world. I love this sign up here that says General Store. That is just wonderful. Again, another early cabinet. I love this detail here. That, um, that rounded over in the corner. Lots of wonderful candles. Oh, I wish you could smell it here. Lots of room scents. Maple sticky buns, sugar cookies. And another large shelf unit filled with the candles. Beautiful. And here are all these nice primitive bowls in so many colors. The robin's egg blue, the burnt reds, the mustards. Love it. Bridgewater Incorporated. 1656. Do you notice here the counter where you would pay or where the salespeople would be? It's like a little shed roof. Is that ever cute? I'm going to step back this way and see if you can see. I was sure, yes. It has the, like the rusty tin roof, all the pussy willows on top. Just so, so clever. So many decorating ideas here. And then all of these beautiful upholstered pieces. Uh, Lisa said that they had been working very hard to get, um, to be able to bring upholstered pieces back into the shop and they have done it. So these are just really nice pieces. 
Look at this beautiful, beautiful table. It has the breadboard ends. That's nice. And then the deacon bench here on the other side. Love this too. There's just so many everywhere you look. There's so many little, little vignettes, little decorating ideas. Little bee skeeps, the bunnies, the bird houses. All right, we'll head over this way. Look at how sweet that is. See the big paper hornet's nest up there? I did see one in our yard earlier and now I don't I haven't seen it lately but I did research a little bit because I wanted to be sure before I went and picked it up that the hornets actually do leave and from what I read they do that once once the season is over they do um, they do leave so I was happy to see that so if I do find them again in the winter time I'll be happy to uh, retrieve them. Another nice, that's a painted corner cabinet. It again has that special detail there. These boxes are beautiful. Very pretty. And those are newly made, which is really nice. You can find these, you know, the, the uh, wallpaper Boxes are very expensive. The actual early antique ones, but there are some reproduction pieces that are out and available that, you know, maybe it's this placeholder until you find the antique one. And then you pass that on to someone else, um, the reproduction one, and that becomes a placeholder for someone until until they find perhaps the real deal. There's a hooked rug with the cabin and the the long flag. Love that. Antiques and hooked rugs. Nice sign. Again, another one of those nice early style lighting pieces, a little section of pegs, and the early style bonnets, and all of these great table runners that we all love to, to add here and there, and then here for poster bed, bonnets, there's a nice three drawer dresser, Again, in that black. We'll head around this way. There's a upholstered chair that looks like 1806. Very pretty fabric. Oh, and look at the outfit on the dressmaker dummy, I'm sure. Love that. Very nice, pretty cabinets. And look at the the arms on that wall piece. So it's not even looks like it's battery, so you don't even have to plug that in if you don't have a place for the hardwired um, electric. Some coverlets. One of the early the early horse. He's beautiful on the little, oh, so cute. Grand Central Station side, and look at this bunny with that beautiful pink flower. Wait till you see this room here behind me. And another really pretty cabinet. Windsor style chair. There's another one. And look at the uh, 
the violin. Beautiful accessory. I've seen those also done, you know, put in a wreath at Christmas time. It's really nice. So I'm going to, I'll say again, March 2nd, the, so the uh, shop hop, five different shops, and uh, Lisa's going to send me the um, information about all the other locations as well. So look at this. Very pretty upholstered set T, and there's a wingback chair right here behind me. And again, they they will not ship until after that March second shop hop. So your best bet is to come, but if not then after that March 2nd date, then they would be able to ship. Really pretty plaid sofa. So do you have a favorite piece? Do you have a favorite area? Are you pulling out your spring things now after being perhaps inspired by this video? I, I know I'm going home and doing that. Just love it. All right. Well, I'm happy to be bringing you these amazing places that you can fill your homes or even just a room or a corner with these looks and feelings of our four brothers, sisters, four sisters, and four fathers. So take care, everybody, and we will see you in the next one.